Okay. Phil, a 3 0 win today against York City. Your, your assessment on the game? Yeah, can't complain, can we? 3 0 and, and a clean sheet. Yeah, I um, thought before we scored early in the early part of the game, we had some really good chances. Didn't, didn't get the goal, but you always believed we would. Um, obviously, York are, are kind of a team lifted by the result last week, and the manager set them up to, to be difficult to play against, and um, at times they did that well. But other times I thought we cut through them, particularly with, with Ryan and, and uh, James Jones on that right hand side. Um, but we were patient and, and the moment came and um, great lift to, to go in at half time 1 0. I thought it was quite a, kind of the low sun, the pitch was a little bit slow because of the sun it got a bit sticky at times. But I thought, in the context of all that, I thought it was, a, it was another solid performance for us. You mentioned at times they were resilient, but Ryan Barnett really had some quality going down the right-hand side, created all sorts of chances in that first half. Yeah, no, Barnett I thought was excellent. He, he's been great since he's, he's come in, obviously. Ford, he's uh, um, been out, he's back in with us now, which is fantastic. Um, but Ryan stepped up and, and he's done well. In terms of the goals, James Jones with a thunderous strike for the first one. The keeper, unfortunate to not be able to claw that one back over the line. Yeah, it's you know, a great strike. You know, James has got that. He's, he's, a, he's a great striker of the ball. Uh, but it was a nice patient build-up. We worked the ball across the box and, 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 and James t -t -t took the chance really well. Um, so we're pleased with that. Always good to get that second goal because you know, any team is dangerous. And there was times on the break that, that York look, did look threatening. Um, and it was great for Dolbs to come off the bench and, and score. And at the end, Elliot obviously missed last week's game with illness this week, back in and back in with a goal as well. Yeah, it's a tough call because obviously Jordan did well last week. Um, but Elliot, had, as the week went on, got better and better in training. Um, I was just going to bring him off before Moles went down with, with cramp. Um, and he's delighted that we left him on because he, he scored a you know, really cool finish. At the opposite end of the pitch, a second Wrexham debut for Ben Foster, but another clean sheet for the back five. Yeah, very pleased with that. It's, it's always difficult. It doesn't matter what your pedigree is as a, as a player, that you come in and have a couple of days training, especially because he's been out of action for a while. Um, but when he came in Thursday in training, he was excellent and he was uh, very confident he'd be fine to play and he certainly showed it. And today, a record attendance in the National League this season and tomorrow, another fantastic following for the women's team as well. Yeah, that's, that's right. It's, it's a great atmosphere today and um, you know, we're looking forward to seeing the, the ladies play tomorrow. Um, what a great occasion for them. I think there's 7,000 tickets sold already. Um, so yeah, it'll be a good day for the club and I'll be here looking forward to it. Thanks, Phil. Congratulations. Thank you.